everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you the progress on our dining room makeover plus to show you how to make DIY chocolate. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thanks so much for popping in to say hi and seeing what I'm up to. I'm feeling rather crazy uh, lately. My hair is wild. I haven't showered in like two days. <laughs> I just have so much on the go right now, so I apologize if this is kind of scattered. I am on week two of the One Room Challenge. This is a challenge put on by a blog called Calling It Home, and she asks um, a bunch of guest bloggers and some featured designers to make over one room in their home in the period of six weeks. I chose to make over our formal sitting room into a formal dining room, and I will leave a link in the description box below and somewhere up here. Um, to last week's video where I show you the before footage as well as the mood board showing you what I'm going to do with the space. So today I'm going to give you kind of an update on what I've done so far, which is hardly anything to be honest. Um, I had another project on the go that was due this week, so I had to do that. And then um, this project I just kind of emptied out the space and made some DIY chalk finish paint and started working on this dresser bag here, which I think is looking pretty cool. So today what I wanna do is show you how to make your own DIY chalk finish paint, and I think you'll love it. Let's get started. Here's a look at how our dining room makeover looks right now. So basically I took out our coffee table, put it in the basement, took out some side tables, and I'm going to give those away to a friend. And I'm starting to work on painting this old dresser that I have with some DIY chalk finish paint. So really not much progress, but like I said, it's been a really busy week, so this is what I have so far. So let me show you how I made this DIY chalk finish paint. Chalk finish paint is a thicker style of paint. It kind of has a chalky look to it. It's great if you wanted to furniture that kind of has a country, a weathered look to it. So to make this paint, you'll need a nice big bucket, measuring cup, and a brush. I'm just using some matte finished latex paint, so either matte or eggshell paint is going to work for this project. And you're going to want to put three parts of paint into the bucket. So I did, my three parts were three cups, so I put three cups of paint into my bucket. Again, just make sure your paint is a lower sheen, so matte paint or eggshell paint works for making chalk style paint. Next, take some plaster of Paris. You're going to want one part of plaster of Paris. So in this case, I am using one cup plaster of Paris. You can find this at your home improvement store and it's relatively inexpensive. And then put a little bit of water in it and you're going to want to dissolve the plaster of Paris in the water. The goal here is to make it so that it's nice and smooth with no lumps in it. So I used about a quarter to a third cup of water in my one cup of plaster of Paris. Mix the water really well with the plaster of Paris to make sure it's nice and smooth with no lumps. This is going to give your paint that really thick, chalky appearance. And finally, pour your plaster of Paris and water into your paint. So I have one cup of plaster of Paris to three parts latex paint. I'm using a low VOC latex paint and mix it really, really thoroughly. You might find that your paint dries out a little bit, so you might have to keep mixing it and keep adding a little bit of water to it over time. This dresser was my very first piece of furniture that I got years ago on discount. I think I paid 100 bucks for it. It's solid wood, so I thought I would give it a makeover. It's a nostalgic piece and I wanted to keep it. The wonderful thing about chalk finish paint is that you do not have to sand your piece. This paint is so sticky. I've even used this recipe of chalk style paint on metal and it sticks really well. The other thing I like about this paint is that it dries really quickly. I am going to just give you a sneak peek of how I did this dresser, but I'm going to do some further details on this dresser makeover in a later video. 
You can also sand off the edges of paint to kind of give your piece a distressed look if you like that country style of look. And I will show you more details on that in another video. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you try to make your own DIY chalk finish paint, please let me know in the comments below. If you have your own recipe for this that works really well, I would love to hear your spin on it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest updates on the One Room Challenge as well as DIY and home decor videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Bye.